Number five, the diagram shows two cylinders, A and B, and uh, cylinder A has a height of 1.6 and cylinder B height 0 0.6. So work out the curved surface area of cylinder A. Now, in your formula page, you should be able to, uh, you, you'll be given a formula for curved surface area of the cylinder. But the curved surface area of the cylinder is given by uh, 2 pi r h, whereby r is the radius and h is the height. So if you just plug this uh, into this formula, you'll have 2 pi, the radius is 0 0.56, and the height is 1.6 and um, that will equal to 5.63 centimeter squared okay um, and then part B cylinder B is mathematically similar to cylinder A okay so the question is, um, the height of cylinder B is 0 0.6. Work out the radius of uh, uh, cylinder B. So basically, um, they want us to work out the radius of this cylinder here. So we can form an equation that relates this uh, measurements. Now we know that if two shapes are mathematically similar, then the ratio of their lengths length should be equal. So basically, r over 0 0.56, which is the ratio of the radius, should be equal to the ratio of the heights. So that implies that um, r will be equal to 0 0.56 multiplied by 0 0.6 divided by 1.6 and that will be equal to 0 0.21 so i explained this previously in the, my first videos so how to find the missing lens in similar shapes and it's basically the same uh, approach here okay um Number six. So in number six, we have two pots that are mathematically similar. And uh, A has a volume of uh, 264. So the volume of this is 264. And the volume of B is 891. So <clears throat> And you're given the height of A. So work out the height of B. Now, we need to find the ratio of the lens from the ratio of the volumes. So the first step is to find the ratio of the volumes. So the ratio of the volumes, ratio of volumes, will be equal to um, basically 891 over 264. And that will be equal to 3.375. And then from there, we can be able to find the ratio of the length. Now here, remember, you're basically working backwards. Um, if you have the ratio of the length to find the ratio of the volumes, you cube. Now, but if you have the ratio of the volumes and you want to find the ratio of the length, we find the cube root. So cube root of 3.375 and the cube root of 3.375 will be equal to 1.5 which implies that um, the length of um, this the, the length of B is 1.5 times the length of A or the height of B is 1.5 times the height of A. So let's just say the height of this, what you're looking for here is H. 
Um, so h over 8 should, in fact, we can just go ahead and find that height. So h will be equal to 1.5 multiplied by 8 because, like I said, the ratio of the lens, what that means is that the height of shape B is 1.5 times the height of shape A. And that will be equal to 12 centimeters. All right. Uh, but B, uh, we have, so B has uh, a surface area of uh, 459. So surface area of this is 459. Work out the surface area of port A. All right, so let's first of all, um, we have the ratio of the lens, which is given here. So we need the ratio of the areas. So ratio of areas will be equal to the square of the ratio of the lens. And that will be equal to 2.25. So what that means is that um, surface area of um, shape B is equal to 2.25 multiplied by surface area of A. So basically surface area uh, and this is the meaning of the ratio of the area. So surface area of B is equal to 2.25 multiplied by surface area of A. Now, surface area of B is 459, so that will be 2.25 times surface area of A, which implies that surface area of A will be equal to uh, 459 divided by 2.25. And you can just work out that. That will be equal to 204 centimeters squared. And that's basically how you solve that problem. Okay. Number seven. Um, so basically, L and M are two mathematically similar prisms. And uh, we're given the height of uh, L and the lens of this prism. So work out the height of M. So let's just say the height of this is H. So we can be able to work out um, the height of M, but first of all, we need to find the ratio of the lens. So the ratio of the lens will be equal to 20 over 8, 28. 20 over 8, and that will be equal to 2.5. So that means that uh, H, which is the height of M, will be equal to 2.5 multiplied by 3, because the ratio of the length means that um, the length, any length in the bigger shape is 2.5 times any length in the smaller shape. So, and that will be equal to 7.5 centimeters. And then the second part of this question is um, M has a volume of uh, 1875. Work out the volume of L. So basically, we have the ratio of the lens. So the ratio of the volumes will be 2.5 cubed, and that will be equal to 15.625. And this means that the volume of M is 15.625 multiplied by the volume of L because it's a bigger shape. So that means that volume of M is 
is equals to 15.625 multiplied by um, volume of L. So because you want to find the volume of L, and we have the volume of M, so basically volume of L will be equal to the volume of M, which is 1875 divided by 15.625 and that will be equal to 120 centimeter cubed and that's basically how you solve that problem